What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including is the FTR leaving AEW soon? WWE releases an announcer, Dan Housen was in a hit and run accident, an insane Roman Reigns rumor and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and an wrestling channel, incredible. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at WWE releasing an announcer. At top of today's news is a report from Ringside News that WWE has released a long-time announcer Quetzali Bilnez. Bilnez worked in the WWE for its Spanish language broadcasts, including interviewing WWE superstars, participating at PLE previews and working in the WWE social media department. The release is believed to have come from an incident on the 30th October in Mexico City where Bullness invited a friend named Fallback, who is a wrestling YouTuber, to jump the barricade and stand near ringside. According to Ringside News, this created quite an uncomfortable situation. Fallback jumped the barricade after Quetzali encouraged him, which led to Byron Saxton looking very uncomfortable. Bullness ordered them not to do anything to him and this puzzled Saxton. The incident had continued afterwards and this left many fans confused as they had no idea who the YouTuber was, leading them to believe something dangerous was going on. Now it's easy to understand why Saxon was concerned when you consider so-called fans' willingness to jump into the ring and even attack WWE personnel. Next up is FTR leaving AEW. As a tag team FTR leaving AEW in 2023, well that could happen as the teams Dax, Harwood and Cash Wheeler discuss what's next once their current deal with All Elite Wrestling ends in 2023. Dax Harwood recently spoke with Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful about what they'll do when their AEW contract expires. Harwood explained that he and his partner Cash have had a lot of conversations about their future and that one plan is to take a year from major companies and just do things that are fun to them. FTR's love for the business can be seen in many times they performed for smaller promotions such as their recent team up with WWE Hall of Famer Ricky Steamboat. While there was no confirmation of when their AEW deal expires, Harwood said that they believe their expiration date is April 2023. FTR has had a good if not great run in AEW after stagnating in the WWE for years as the revival. While some FTR fans have complained about the team's push in AEW, the fact remains that they are just one of many fantastic tag teams. Consider the many other talented top teams in AEW including the Young Bucks, the Lucha Brothers, the Acclaimed and Swerve in Our Glory, not to mention the upcoming teams such as the Blondes, Best Friends, Private Party and others. What do you guys think is next for the FTR? Next up, WWE reveals entrance in the NXT Iron Survivor Challenge matches. At the upcoming NXT Deadline PLA will introduce a new Iron Survivor Challenge match but who is competing in the event? Shawn Michaels met with WWE Hall of Famers The Road Dog, X-Pac, Alundra Blaze and Molly Holly to review the many wrestlers in NXT who have shown both promise and success this year. Each match is a 25 minute competition where the wrestler with the most pinfalls will earn an NXT Men's Championship match or an NXT Women's Championship match. The male competitors are Carmelo Hayes, JD McDonough, Grayson Waller and Joe Gacy, while the female competitors are Roxanne Perez, Cora Jade, Zoe Stark and Keanu James. Michael said that two more competitors will get the chance to compete the match as two wildcard matches will be held on the 6th December NXT to find an additional entrant for the men's match and women's match. This event looks like a combination of the scramble match and the traditional Ironman match. Next up, Tony D'Angelo injury update. The Heartbreak Kid also used the announcement of the Iron Survivor Challenge to update fans on the condition of NXT superstar Tony D'Angelo. D'Angelo was injured during a match against Wes Lee, as wrestling ink Cy Mohan recapped what happened on NXT when Alundra Blaze recommended Tony compete in the Iron Survivor Challenge. Michael said that while he appreciates D'Angelo's competitive desire to get back to the ring, the young wrestler was still a couple of weeks away from a comeback, ruling out D'Angelo as a participant in the Iron Survivor Challenge. Next up, Austin Theory claims he'll dethrone Roman Reigns. Is Austin Theory going to dethrone Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship? While he was unable to do so when he held a men's money in the bank briefcase, during an interview with Ottawa City News Everywhere, Theory explained his evolution and why he feels he's the right man to defeat Reigns. The cocky, arrogant, douchey persona just really gets under people's skin and it did its purpose. And having the money in the bank contract the way that character was, there's a little bit of a ceiling there just because when you look at Roman Reigns being so unstoppable and everything. Whoever is going to beat Roman Reigns, it's got to be someone that is really going to beat Roman Reigns and not just by some luck and I think the chapter that Austin Theory is headed now is setting him up to build to being that qualifier to stand toe to toe with Roman Reigns. 
you guys think that theory has a chance of beating Roman Reigns? Next up, Dan Elson reveals a recent hit and run accident. It looks like someone may have put a curse on AEW star Dan Housen as he was recently involved in a hit and run accident. While the details remain vague, the good news is that he wasn't in the vehicle when it was struck. Here's what the man who is both very evil and very nice had to say on Twitter. Today Dan Housen's car was hit and run, apparently airport had no parking. Second flight was delayed by 3 hours so I had to buy an entirely new flight and get checked bag transferred over to a new airline that will hopefully make it. But some fans were confused and thought Dan Housen was in the car which led him to tweeting a clarification. My car was hit while I was not in it. I thought this was obvious by the apparently. And we're glad to hear that Dan Housen was not in the car as far too many wrestlers have been injured or worse while travelling from one event to another. Next up, Triple H sees bright future for two NXT superstars. A potentially good news for two NXT superstars as a recent report from WrestleVotes claims the game sees big things ahead for them. Let's look at the first wrestler Helmsley forecasts a bright future for, 21-year-old Cora Jade. WrestleVotes noted, Everybody loves Cora. She's on the fast track to becoming the next Sasha Banks. She has the same thing Sasha has. She's talented. She's got this unique look about her. She's super young and she's pretty decent in the ring, right? The potential of her becoming a big deal is high and WWE sees that. AJ began her pro career at age 17 and quickly found herself in a prominent role in NXT after signing with the black and gold brand in early 2021. Another wrestler who Triple H sees a lot in is Grayson Waller. Russell Votes reported, WWE really likes Grayson Waller and really sees something in him. He may stay down in NXT just so they can try to figure out something big for him, like Kevin Owens coming in and beating John Cena. They like him a lot, so that's one guy that they're going to try and do something serious with. Like Cora Jade, Waller joined NXT in 2021 and while Championship Gold has eluded him in NXT, he's been a featured player. Next up, the latest Charlotte Flair return tease. While it's unknown when Charlotte Flair is returning to WWE, the Queen and the WWE have been making sure the universe doesn't forget her, leading to fans asking when she's coming back. For example, the WWE aired another hype video for Flair at Survivor Series while Flair posted videos and images on social media suggesting she could be back before long. One picture on her Instagram shows her boots in the wrestling ring. As Wrestling News Andrew Ravens noted, It's unclear when the photo was taken, but if she's currently training, then that would mean her in-ring return could be happening soon, possibly at the Royal Rumble in January as a surprise entry in the Women's Royal Rumble match. She also shared videos of herself on WWE television on her Instagram stories. SmackDown's women's division doesn't have any main event level challenges for women's champion Ronda Rousey, a situation which has some fans suggesting the WWE bring Flair back as soon as possible. And finally, an insane Roman Reigns rumour. Last but not least, it looks like Ringside News is taking issue with a recent rumour from self-professed news site Zero News, claiming that Roman Reigns will defend each of his titles on separate nights at WrestleMania 39. Zero News tweeted, The titles will be split by the end of the draft latest. The draft will be after Mania. There is some talks, however, of Roman dropping both belts at Mania, one on night one, second on night two. However, Ringside News H. Jenkins countered the story. A tenured member of the WWE creative team who is privy to such decisions was quick to shoot down this report. The source apparently said, It's obvious this person has no real source on the inside because he is referring to discussions that have never taken place. Just to drive their point home, Ringside News even tweeted, A report is going around saying that WWE is considering having Roman Reigns drop his titles on night 1 and 2 of WrestleMania. We can confirm that a conversation about this going down never took place. What do you think of the rumour though? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.